Hey guys, today we are in the Shawnee National Forest again and we are going to go for a hike and I'm testing out a new recipe while I'm gone, which is something I tell everyone else never to do. So you'll have to stick around to see if it turns out. Oh, while well, having a whole lot of fun. It's been a long day and I'm really tired. The theme of today, flexibility. We aren't where we thought we were gonna be and then we weren't we are not at plan b either we are actually literally going down a what we call back home a crick bed i'm rock hopping and we're gonna rock hop um meanwhile at our camper kitchen we have a slow cooker dish that i'm not quite sure is gonna turn out because i'm breaking my main rule which is you never leave something untended that you've never cooked before but I'm gonna just chance it, and we have lots of leftovers in the fridge if that so happens to not work out. So I have a backup plan for my backup plan, and if it's anything like today's hiking plans, I'm gonna need it. So stay tuned. Walking stick. <laughs> Where'd the water go? So, ooh, we rock hopped, didn't we, Miss Dad? And I stubbed my toe really hard. And she stubbed her toe. But we didn't hike a trail, so to speak. We took a very small walk. So we think the trailhead must be some other place. So we're going to try something else now. Stay tuned. We got so excited with our travels that we forgot that when you're traveling, you use gas. Well, that's been on for a little bit. That thing says we've got about 13 miles left to go. Thank goodness there's a gas station about five miles away, we hope. Today has not gone as planned, but we are enjoying the journey. Plus, I fixed my toe. Plus, Miss Ad says she thought she dislocated her toe, but she's self-sufficient back there and fixed it. I'm off to back in the place. Okay. I even heard it. <laughs> we found the gas. It's expensive. Thank goodness we found the gas. That's not the kind of hike we wanted to take today. <laughs> We have found a trail. Which ten dollars will make it? Famous last words. Not too stable. <laughs> Get down here. I didn't think about the getting down part. <laughs> we have found a trail. Finally. So we days. are at Millstone Bluff and we are walking back to an archaeological, is that how you say it? Mm -hmm. Site. Mikey has a walking stick. He's very proud of. So please stay on the trail. Touch only with your eyes and walk gently. Here we go. Yeah. Uh, 
I always stunk at Where's Waldo. And that's kind of what we're doing right now. I was actually pretty good at it, but I cannot find this. So we are looking for these symbols carved into the rocks. The rocks. Below. You know, so we cannot walk on them or chalk them to, to enhance blood because that will increase their decay. That's what the last line says. Right. I want to see the mosquito. <laughs> <laughs> he came to life, didn't he? He did. Where? Wait, there's, <laughs> there's a mosquito on that? There was on my face. This wasn't too bad for plan G H. Plan G H. I just hope our pork chops fared better than we did today. But we had fun. So now we're going back to see how my pork chops did. Or just how good leftovers are. Exactly. We were learning all about the Mississippian uh, Indians. We should have made Mississippi chicken. We totally missed our opportunity. We should have planned better. <laughs> I know what you're making when you get home. <laughs> well, maybe I could make that in the instant pot if uh, if my pork chops fail. There you go. <laughs> okay, the moment of truth. My pork chops and cabbage. It may not look pretty, but I'm pretty sure it's going to taste yummy. It's nice and tender. The pork chops are, and the cabbage did get cooked through. Okay, so something went right today. The pork chops and cabbage look very yummy. My concern about them was that my cabbage wasn't going to get done in time for my pork chops to get done. But my trick worked. What I ended up doing is cutting the cabbage really um, thin so that it could cook in the broth while the pork chops cooked and everything is done now. It's not the prettiest dish in the world, but I have a feeling it is going to be absolutely delicious. So what this is, just so if you were wondering, is a small head of cabbage chopped thin. Lay that down in the bottom of your six, seven quart slow cooker. Add two cups of chicken broth, salt and pepper, slice up a stick of butter on the top, and then put three pounds of thick cut boneless pork chops. Um, and, and thick cuts important because that cabbage is going to take a long time to cook and you want that you don't want your pork to dry out so then I just put steak seasoning on both sides of the pork chops lay them over the top and then if you can when you cut and I put it on low for about five to six hours um, what you're wanting is your cabbage to get fully cooked um, it may take a little bit longer depending on your slow cooker but you also want your pork chops to be fork tender. So if you do have time to check it in the middle, like when, right when we got back, I flipped them over to help them get more tender. Um, and then put the lid back on until your pork chops are tender. And now it's a yummy, yummy dish. I'm going to serve it up with green beans and we're going to have... A meal where we're going to talk with me mom and papa all about our adventures today um, at, in the Shawnee National Forest today we went to Jackson Falls and rock hopped and then we ended up going to um, Mill Bluff I think is what it was called um, totally spur of the moment but it was really great there's a lot of great hiking here so um, if you keep how does Mikey say it I always forget if you keep watching we'll keep cooking and all will be well Bye, guys.